wish you would let in your have some fun. Can't some fly in Alaska on the wall you can't or catch some trout and salmon in good old Washington. Fishing with Latin, casting with Latin, man, that's a lot of fun. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here on the Grayling Arm of Hebgen Lake in Montana. There's some great rainbows and browns in here. I think it's be a fantastic show. We're cruising our way out on the Grayling Arm of Hebgen Lake. Uh, we're going to go off this point. We did a little bit of looking on a map ahead of time and saw a little drop off. We want to fish, so we're heading out there and uh, see if we can catch some fish. It's a gorgeous morning, one of our first nice days here on Hebgen Lake so far. Uh, we're enjoying the sun. Yesterday it was snow, today it's sun. Beautiful weather so far. Fish. Nice. Steve was into the first fish of the day. It's cool, it's not a big fish, but it's a nice, nice little trout. Cool. Steve cranked his reel, grabbed the net, and moved the fish closer. Okay. It's a brown. Nice right. little brown trout. Good, cool. Oh, he did take that green one. Boy, it's a nice fat brown trout. Look at the belly on that thing. All right, nice little brown trout. First fish of the day for me, so that was a lot of fun. And uh, put a, a mayfly, a green mayfly, and a red coronamid under strike indicator, about seven feet. Uh, cast it out where I'd seen some fish rising, and uh, strike indicator went down, hooked that little brown. Nice fish. There's one. Beauty. All right. Holy smokes. That's a good fish. Yeah, it is. That's a good fish. Whoa, Boy. nice jumper. Yeah. Got a, ah. <clears throat> Darn it. Got off. That was a nice trout. Yeah, it was. Mm. Oh man, he's going after those seagulls. Really? Yeah, it looked like it almost. Huh. All right. Hot fish, man. Boy. Sweet jumper. Wow. Jump. That's a big jumper. The fish continued to battle. Man, I tell you what. Likes to make the runs. It's finally wearing out a little bit. Steve is ready with the net, but the trout had other ideas. Awesome. Don't like getting them up past the fly line, but yeah, I know these long leaders. Gosh, it's a nice rainbow. It looks like finally, Steve slid the rainbow near. Baby, Woo. what a fish! Boy, what a jumping fish! That was awesome. Yeah, that's really cool. Really nice rainbow. Boy, look at that beautiful rainbow. Maybe 15 inches. That guy fought hard. There he goes back to the depths. That was really cool. And a great thing so far today. We've got two flies catching fish. Hopefully, the action keeps up. We found a channel kind of a drop off, there's a drop off here and there's a drop off on the other side. And we think with the depth finder, we ran this area and we believe this channel just keeps heading out a couple hundred yards. So Steve's hit a couple fish here, so hopefully it'll keep going. They're fish. Nice. Oh boy, what a big jumper. Big jumping rainbow. Nice. It's a little sand in this reel. Uh oh. But that's all right. 
just have to deal with it. Wow. What a fish. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. It's beautiful. Hmm. What a scene behind you, oh. too. Oh! Wow! Come on, guy. These things fight like crazy. Yeah, they do. Mine kind of wore itself out. Yeah. And they get close to the boat and then just take off like crazy. Yeah. I reached down, grabbed the net, and moved the fish closer. Spinning you around. Uh, yeah, that's a beautiful bow. Man, yes. alive. <laughs> nice 16, 17 incher. Yeah. Woo! That's sweet. Cool. Oh, this is a gorgeous trout. Just a big rainbow. Beautiful. Hebgen Lake, long rainbow. Yeah. Wow. There she goes, swimming off. Awesome. Oh, what a fight. Spectacular on the red chronomid. Cast it out again. I was just stripping it, just little teeny strips. And that indicator went down, set the hook, and beautiful fish. There we go. Yes. Coming at you, huh? Yeah, just, whoa, boy, now he's going. Wow. Wow, right under the boat. Ooh, man, look at that thing go. Get open. Oh, my gosh, he's around my anchor rope. Uh-oh. Looks like he might be. Is he gone? That was a real bummer. I hooked that fish. It took me around my boat, went right under my boat, wrapped around the anchor line, popped off. Oh, fish. Nice. Boy, it's another big, big fish, man. Awesome. Whoa. You know, it's, it's not that big of a fish. I just saw it jump. Whoa. Oh, man. Oh, right got him. him. Nice. Yeah, you know, it's a hard fighter. It was it's not a big fish. Yeah. I was surprised. <laughs> He's a good fighting trout. Yeah. <laughs> not a big fish, but uh, definitely a hard fighting rainbow here at Hebgen Lake. They seem to fight really hard. Yes, they do. Yeah. It's a good fish. Good job. Thanks. On the coronamid again or the mayfly? Um, that No, that was the coronamid again. Okay, yeah. that's been picking up lately. Yeah, it's been a hot fly for sure. Good. For our setup today, we're using a floating line. We have an indicator about five or six feet up, a little mayfly nymph, and it adds a dropper. We have this red coronamid, and it's this red coronamid that's just been doing fantastic today. I'm sitting in about six feet of water out where my strike indicator is, it's eight, nine feet, and I've got it, uh, the fly is about eight feet under it, and uh, the fish have been hitting right in that area so far. Let's see if we can get another one. There it is. Nice. Good fish. What a jumper. Yeah. Rainbow, he might be right, might be ready right now. Wow, worked himself out quickly. Oh, yeah, good fish. Whoo, yeah, that's a nice trout. <laughs> Look at that baby. That yeah, might go 17, huh? Yeah, 16, beautiful. 17. Fantastic. Give him a little oxygen, and off he goes. Well, I tell you, this fishing has been fantastic, hasn't it? It's been amazing. Yeah, just get it out there, move it a little bit, get it in the zone, the you know, eight, nine foot zone, and boom, they're hitting it. And that was on the uh, coronamid again. That's definitely been the 
most favored fly so far this morning. There's a lot of great things to see when you're in the area here at Hebgen Lake. If you take a break from the fishing, go see uh, the earthquake area where Quake Lake formed, go see Yellowstone National Park, uh, maybe the Tetons even further south. Fantastic place to come and visit. So I'm trying a little different technique. I'm using an intermediate sink line and uh, casting out over the drop off into 10, 12 feet of water and then letting it sink for a while and then slowly bringing it back in, little twitches and uh, see if I can do the same thing as I was doing with the strike indicator, catching fish off this drop off. Ooh, took it. Oh, oh it's still there. <laughs> I thought I'd lost him because it uh, hit and then I didn't feel anything, but it was coming straight at me and up, jumped. <laughs> that was nice. Steve grabbed the net and slid the brown trout closer, then landed the fish. It's a really nice little small brown trout. Pretty cool take. Got him using the sinking line, and letting it get down there like I was telling you about. And uh, sure enough, got a fish that way. So hopefully get bigger ones that way too. Tell you what, there's some spectacular scenery here on Hebgen Lake, all around this lake. Just mountains, snow. We're standing on an island on one of the shores and uh, it's pretty cool panoramic view. Love this place. Got him. Oh boy, it's a nice one. That is a good one. Good jumper. It's coming at my anchor. I love these fish jumping like that. Awesome. Nice bright colored rainbow. All right, here he comes. Oh, oh, oh. out of the motor. Oh boy. Ah. Beautiful bay. It is beautifully colored, my goodness. Good jumping fish. Nice size, hard fighting, big jumping fish. Look at the colors on that thing. Hmm, really nice. Ooh, boy, I tell you, this uh, grayling arm of Hebgen Lake has been fantastic today. We fished the Madison arm in earlier days. We came over here, we're catching a ton of fish. Fantastic. We fished a couple arms of Hebgen Lake and they're almost like completely different lakes, even though they're connected. Uh, different scenery, same fish, same fantastic fish. It's been a lot of fun on this trip. There's one. Awesome. Holy smokes. That thing hit hard like a ton of bricks. Woo! There she goes. Ah, oh. oh, golly, has not good line control there. Man, I'm amazed to still have that guy on. Boy. Might be a big brown. No, it's just a big bow. Oof. Oh my gosh, it's huge. Ooh. Wow. That's a nice trout. Thank you. This is one of the bigger ones I've caught in a long time. Gorgeous colors. Wow. Look at this gorgeous big bow. Yeah, it is. Just a huge, beautiful fish. There she goes swimming off. Ooh. I mean, that is just fantastic. That's one of the nicest trout I caught in at least a couple days. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, not really. You're for a long a time, that's a gorgeous fish for sure. Yeah. This is the setup we're using right here. A little mayfly nymph followed by a little chronomid. But instead of fishing it under an indicator, we're using an intermediate sink line and just doing slow strips. 
and that fish just pounded it. I was in a t-shirt literally five minutes ago. These clouds start rolling in. It gets cold fast. The weather really changes a lot in Montana. There's one. Boy, feels like a good one too. It's coming right at me. I got a strip in line fast. There she is. It's a fun way to fish, just stripping, because when those fish hit, it's just like a, it hammers it. A little feeling of electricity there. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Okay. Ah, here she is. Gorgeous trout. Come on, guy. All right, this is a beauty. It took the mayfly. This is a gorgeous rainbow, spicy guy. He was ready to go. Man, that was fun. It was just such a fun fight. You just strip in, they pound it, they just take off. Just beautiful fish in this lake. I changed to an olive streamer and was stripping it in quickly fish boy it's a good one too yep there she goes i see them flashing it's actually pretty close cool i was fishing chronomids for a long time and things slowed down so we decided to go with some streamers and uh we've gotten a few tags and finally a nice fish it hits Well, not yet. We have caught fish today on a variety. We have caught fish today on a variety of flies. We have caught fish today on a. Why? <laughs> Why? I know you're just talking. Yeah. We have caught fish today on a. We have caught fish today on a. <laughs> How come I can't say variety now? Variety. Variety. <laughs> Your brain is we have, yeah. we have caught fish in a variety of different flies today. We've caught them on mayfly nymphs. We've caught them on streamers and chronomids. It's been fantastic. <laughs> oh boy. Wow. It's a nice bow. Come on, guy. Woo! There she is, beautiful rainbow. Took the olive streamer. Here's that beautiful trout that hit, the, hit that streamer. And again, we were fishing chronomids. That kind of slowed down a little bit put on that streamer, it's an olive streamer, and fished it for quite a while. Had one break off and a lot of tags, but I finally got one in. It's beautiful fish. Folks, I hope you enjoyed the show from the Grayling Arm of Hebgen Lake here in Montana. I know we had a great time. Please join us next week for more Fishing with Ladin. Be sure to join us next time for more Fishing with Ladin. Because we're having fun, Catching fish.